Abdominal palpation is a really important skill that every veterinarian should possess. I will tell you, I remember the very first time that I diagnosed a GI foreign body on abdominal palpation alone. A young Labradoodle came in and this dog had been an appetite for a couple days, I think, as well as had vomited a few times, but we took some abdominal x-rays and didn't really see anything obvious, maybe a little bit of segmental dilation of the intestines, but I couldn't see a foreign body. But I could feel something. I could feel a firm, uh, abnormal object in this dog's mid-abdomen. and. I knew that that wasn't supposed to be there. And that knowledge and my confidence with my abdominal palpation really helped me convince these owners to go to surgery. Uh, we did find a full obstruction at surgery. The dog had eaten a peach pit and it was obstructing the dog's jejunum. And that dog probably would have died if I hadn't convinced those owners to go to surgery. So abdominal palpation saved this dog's life and I'm sure that it has helped me save a lot of other dogs over my career. But like any other skill, it really does take practice. I have to work at it. And having a thoughtful, systematic approach is another way to make sure that your abdominal palpation is very thorough. So I encourage you to check out this step-by-step -step guide to abdominal palpation, and you can discover a handy mnemonic so that you don't forget any of the steps.